Okay, we are going to find the value of x, which is a missing area here. So we need to work on our scale factors. So the only information that we're given is a 2 and a 5, and those are lengths. So remember, the length scale we get from dividing two lengths together. So we're going to do 5 divided by 2, which gives us 2.5. That is our length scale. But we don't want the length scale. We're not finding a missing length. We're finding a missing area. So we need the area scale factor. Now to find the area scale factor, we have to do area scale factor is the length scale factor squared. And if we needed the volume scale factor, that would be length squared, length, length scale cubed. But we don't need the volume in this one. That's more just that's the three that we need. Length scale, area scale, is it squared? Volume scale, is it cubed? Okay, so now we know that area scale is the length scale squared, so we know that that one is 2.5 squared. And we can work that out by doing 2.5 squared, which gives us 6.25. Great, now we have our aerial, area <laughs> scale factor. We're not done. We know that to move between areas, we have our area scale factor, which is 6.25. We're going from the smaller one to the bigger one. So we do area equals 7 times the scale factor. And that should give us our answer, which is 43.75. Don't forget the units, centimetres squared.